Now this is something aside from the waterfall. Now we're, gonna, we're, we're cutting up the concrete. I like to do it the same day. We actually waited two days for the pad that we did. We poured it with the wall builder and the actual mix. A lot of guys are in the snowmaker world are always saying, well, how do you guys do patios and stuff like that? Well, what I do is I like to cut into it. I'll make it four inches to five inches. Uh, I don't put any rebar in it. Why? Because you put rebar in your in your little uh, uh, blocks. What do they call it? The, the patio blocks that you guys put in your dough. You actually put you just put pavers down. And what we're doing is we're putting pavers down, but we're just cutting it after it's already poured. And that's all I'm doing for patios. Uh, if you want to do the regular stamp patio stuff like that, the only other thing I'm doing is I am stamping a texture into it, and then I cut the rocks around it. But notice in here, look, I put integral color. So no matter how much I carve into it, you can see the color's all there, and it makes it look, you know. Like, you know, once I get my carving done, it looks like separate pieces of rocks that were all put in together. You know, here's the line, so we scored it with the line. But I'm gonna come back over and just do all this here. Now, you, it's a lot easier to do the very same day. So let's say you pour it in the morning, and so, you know, it's nice weather. It's already set up by the afternoon. Then get your grinder in there and just cut the heck, you can cut it like butter. We're already two days later, so it's a little bit more difficult to, to cut right now. But I'm still getting a nice cut on it. It's still not bad, the temperature, was lower, it was raining yesterday, so it's still low, so it's still kind of green. So it's still a little easy to cut. So that's what I'm doing. I'm gonna cut this and cut the bottom. We got a lot to cut, but it's gonna look absolutely fabulous when we're done. 